All right, so in this video I want to talk about is basically something that I didn't know how to use for a while and that's basically um, the audio gain, normalized peaks or normalize all peaks to whatever value, right? These two. I already made a video about how I use the normalized peaks and whatnot, but the normalized all peaks and haven't really used until recently, right? And like basically, you know, you just select your audio, right click, you go to uh, audio gain and boom, right? I have it set up for G on my keyboard. It's just, you know, it's faster, right? Just so you can see, I'm gonna maximize this window. It'd be easier for me to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so to begin with, I have two projects here. One is basically, um, I started doing gameplay videos, uh, mainly for fun and, you know, it's practice because cause I have been asked to do gameplay videos before and uh, just learning how to edit it and this and that. And also like, you know, I like playing video games. So I started playing Apex and um, I started doing my own gameplay videos for fun, right? So, however, the thing is that because my mic is shitty, the wave forms in my audio is not consistent right and that's pretty much where maximize all peaks comes in uh, in handy right so that's the first thing i'm gonna repeat this again every time i'm do a tutorial on uh, audio i'm always gonna repeat myself but go to windows go to your audio tracks mixer and on the master add a hard limiter you go on the pull down menu hard limiter double click on it and always add a limiter all right you want to make sure you protect your hearing i always set mine to negative four that's pretty much my max anything past negative four i think it just sounds too distorted it. I don't like the sound of it. Uh, that's just me. But whatever you do, add a limiter, please. All right, protect your hearing. All right, so get that out of the way. All right, so I got two projects here. This is pretty much me and my gameplay. Hey guys, don't pick us up. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, so that's just me, right, using this mic. And uh, this is another project. This is pause. As PCI Express Gen 4 support, and that's thanks to this being a Ryzen 3rd Gen series motherboard, although I should point out, it's only gonna give you PCI Express Gen 4 if you use a 3000 series or Ryzen 3rd Gen. So two main differences between Paul's video and mine. Paul, he is using a lavalier mic, right? And that's should be the best way to go if you were making videos have a lavalier mic you know obviously you want like uh, to get audio that's close to like the, the mouth source and the good thing about like uh, the lavalier mic is basically since it's right there you have a consistent distance from like the mouth to the mic so when i'm playing i'm using this fucking microphone so when i'm talking if i'm talking over here you know like the audio level is different if i move over here as i'm talking if i'm moving you know i can hear like the audio is not, not the same right bra because the way how these mics are designed is for you to hold up in the mic and the mouth, right? Um, I actually had this mic when I was in a band, so I'm still using it because I'm a cheap ass to buy new mics, I'll admit. If this is something that you have at the moment, you know, then this may help you out when you're creating your videos. So this is pause. So you see, there's a lot of cuts, right? But that's just mainly because I cut out like a lot of like the uh, little pauses that he does when he does his videos, right? And you know, little mistakes he makes. But uh, basically, as you can see, the audio waves, they're very consistent, right? And that's because, say when I zoom out, I select all the audio clips. I go to my audio gain. Like again, I have it set to G on my keyboard, but you can right click, right click, and select audio gain. Then I go to normalize, normalize, max peak. For pause video, video you should do zero, right? I hit OK. It might take a while depending on your computer, but basically what that does is it sees the whole clip as one. So any clips that are, say, too high or too low, it gets balanced out evenly, right? In an even banner, right? So that way, like, everything sounds more consistent, right? So if there's any dips or, like, any uh, audio sec sections that are too low, it kind of increases it. Same thing if it's too high, kind of reduces a bit. That way it's more of an even, like, audio peak, right? Audio level, right? So then, like, you know, I have my compression and other stuff, and, you know, I have other videos on, uh, on that, so I'll link those in the description. This is my audio files for the gameplay. And the difference here here is that uh, let me just highlight these zoom in here so these are all selected with I'm gonna right click go to audio gain and I still use the normalize all peaks but let's see what happens when I say normalize max peak to zero yeah you see that I'm gonna undo and redo undo redo so pretty much like it does normalize the audio peaks but because like there's so much of a uh, dynamic difference because of the mic that i use now when i'm speaking towards the mic you know it's not that big of a difference because like you know i'm speaking in front of like the mic right but when i'm looking away or i'm playing or you know whatever pretty much like the waveforms are not the same right so pretty much like in this case so i select all these guys right click audio gain uh, and since i'm usually very close to the mic i don't want to like increase the volume too much so i'll get distorted usually since i have a limiter at four then I say normalize max peaks to negative four, right? So that'd be the max. And as you can see here, all the peaks are all normalized to negative four, right? Yeah, like at first I didn't care about skins for these kinds of games, right? Because like I said, I haven't played games in a while, but like, uh, you know, it is fun to like customize your character and your weapon. Now, 
It may help, you know, doing what I just did. And since like I'm normalizing the max peaks on all the audio clips, right? For this type of like uh, audio files, right? Because I don't have like the best uh, mic. Um, however, when you do that, you cause some problems. And in this case, all right, here's a good example. Of So pretty much like there's like an ambient noise right that I'm using but because there's an edit in that area that section of like uh, me not speaking it gets amplified to like the same like peak peak level right to negative four and it's obviously just me like uh, playing on my keyboard obviously you don't want to hear that so basically what I do is just give my blade tool I made a cut of the section I don't want select it then I just deselect it but you can right click and uh, you can hit enable same thing or right click uncheck that but you know i have it set to a shortcut to one on my keyboard just to be faster right so pretty much all i do is like the areas i do speak i just leave those in the areas are they don't speak which is like say like in this area yeah it's just my keyboard so i don't want to hear that so i just do you select that and let's try the r3 r1 this time yeah i need to learn to speak slower <laughs> i admit it so yeah i don't know, know how to explain it but uh basically Normalizing Max Peak, you can want to use that when you have a good microphone, right? When you have like an actually good consistent audio wave file. Say if you have a lavalier mic, but because the, the, the distance from the mouth and the mic is consistent, it's the same. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Normalize all peaks. I started using this because my mic is not that great, right? Here's a good final example. I'm going to select some uh, ambient noise and uh, with me speaking, right click, audio gain, normalize Max Peaks to say, negative four. Boom. See, everything goes low, right? Because it's taking like the ambient noise into uh, consideration. <laughs> but see, there's some spikes right here. So it's using this as the measurement of what's the max, right? So it's kind of uh, pretty much normalize all these other clips according to these spikes over here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fighting over our character? Come on. It's like up to this point. I like uh, Lifeline, but... So yeah, everything gets squished down. It's pretty low, right? So I don't... It's not what I need. So I'm going to select these guys again. Right click, audio gain, normalize all peaks to negative four. Boom, everything gets maxed out, it's more consistent, right? So obviously this I don't need because it's just uh it's just room noise. Diselect that. <laughs> you guys are fighting over our character? Come on. It's like up to this point. I like uh, lifeline, but when someone picks it, I usually go like Bangalore. Someone picks Bangalore. Everything's more consistent now. It's more even, right? Because I normalized all max peaks to negative uh, four, right? Or whatever level you may need, right? But again, it comes with situations where like, you know, if you have a room noise, it's going to max out that as well. So you're going to have to make an edit. Like I said, make a blade tool, make a cut, deselect it, and you should be fine, right? So yeah, that's basically what I learned using this. <laughs> it's kind of the reason why I enjoy making my videos, right? Like I do my little side projects and all this stuff because I started learning about this kind of stuff, right? It's new. Whereas like uh, if I would have stuck to just editing like I have been I would not have learned this right so and yeah it's something cool it's fun I'm still gonna be making more of these videos along with tutorials gameplays me playing guitar or whatever I like learning new stuff is I really enjoy doing this stuff right and as always uh, if I learn anything new I'll definitely be more than happy to share it with you right so thanks for watching hope it helps take care and peace